Hi beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 Big shout out to Rachel Angelic Revelation 144 Thank you for all the decks you sent me Rachel um, So today I'm going to be doing a reading which is a challenge reading What are some of the Divine Masculine's challenges and conflicts right now? Okay, so this Twin Flame journey can be quite difficult at times There can be very dark moments and I know a lot of people go through that. I prefer to focus on positive aspects, but I know there are some negative aspects. So this could be a bit dark, this reading. So just to warn you, but some of the Divine Masculines are going through quite a challenging situation. And obviously some of the Divine Feminines as well. So let's see what messages we have. We have Abandoned. Mute, free will, vibrations, destruction, mirroring, crossroads, refocus, spring, material world, and winter. So I'm going to clarify these messages with the tarot. So first of all, we have abandoned. So some of the masculines could have abandonment issues from their childhood or within their current past breakup with somebody maybe. Maybe they thought they were going to be married for life or be with that person for life and it didn't work out the way they thought. So they have these abandonment issues and it could be the same for feminines but at the moment I'm focusing on the masculine energy. So let's get the clarification. So we have King of Cups. <clears throat> so I feel this person was a very loving person, full of love. Okay, and they went into a situation with love. They were hopeful for love. But it didn't work out the way they hoped. So they withdrew into their shell. You know, they closed off their heart. Okay. So when you met them, their heart could have been closed off at that time. Then we have Mute. Eight of Wands. So even though they could be quiet right now, not communicating with you, they're really fighting the urge to come forward. They pass They want you passionately. There's passion here with the Eight of Wands and they want to take that action, but they're holding themselves back right now. And then we have Free Will, Four of Swords. <clears throat> so I feel a lot of them in a healing mode at this time, you know, recovering from situations in their past which has broken their hearts. And they need to recover. They need to do the healing work to withdraw. They could be spending a lot of time on their own right now to do this work, which is a good thing. They need to do this healing work, you know, to heal themselves from past hurts. Then we have vibrations. Ten of cups. So they could be meditating at this time. They could be going within, connecting to their intuition and the higher self. And that, that is, you know, guiding them. This is what their higher self is saying that they want you know this ten of cups situation they want this happy ever after they want this home life this family life and that's what they set out in life to, to achieve and it all went a bit wrong in their situation so they're trying to reconnect with how they felt and having this back in their life you know taking that leap of faith to have that again and then we have destruction which is like a tower moment so five of pentacles. So maybe they've got financial difficulties right now. This could be linked to um, severing a past marriage. You know, there could be financial constraints here where they've had to split a house or split income. There could be support of children involved here. So the masculine is not in a good place in a financial way. He feels that he should be in a much better place by now in his life and he's you know, he's not feeling very good about himself because of that. Then we have mirroring. So that is the twin flame sign and two of cups. So I think he's coming into that realisation that this is a, a special connection, that you and him 
are mirroring aspects of each other. He's coming into more self-awareness. And he does have love for you. And he knows that you have love for him. And he does want to share that love. Okay. Ultimately he does. But he may not have, you know, spoken of that to you. Then we got crossroads. So justice. So he could be, you know, this could be to do with a legal matter. This could be to do with finally severing ties from the past, you know, getting that um, divorce, getting that maintenance agreement, whatever it is with regard to the legal system. And once that is done, dusted, maybe he will feel clear about which direction he wishes to go in at the moment. He's at a crossroads until he knows that these matters are sorted. He feels his hands are tied. And then we have refocus. Nine of Cups. So he wants to work on that for himself. He wants to work on that. Having that love for himself. That independence. That financial stability. That love for self. So again, he's working on this right now. And then we have springtime. So this could be possibly when you last heard from your masculine or when you last saw them, or it could refer to next spring that you will reconnect at that time. It's going to be different for everybody. And we've got material. Oh, sorry, I'll clarify that. Three of Wands. So whenever that springtime, you know, and it just could, spring could just mean a new beginning because it's a new beginning. Springtime is when everything starts growing and blossoming, isn't it? So there could be something getting off the ground, a new project, a new start together, you know, or, you know, this could be a new beginning. So with the material world, you know, obviously finances are a struggle for this person at the moment or a major concern and we have the sun. So for this masculine, his 3D world, the material world is quite important to him for his happiness. Okay, he likes to feel that he's financially stable in his life and that he has enough abundance um, and this does bring him his happiness and then we have winter page of cups so maybe by winter time you could be hearing from your masculine there could be a love a gesture of love coming towards you by the winter time you know, by that time he may have done that work on himself and come to that realisation of what it is he actually does desire moving forward in his life once the past is behind him. So let's get some other messages of where the masculine's at. Yeah, we've got anxiety, depression, low mood, sadness. So a lot of them could be going through that right now. Spiritual person, raised consciousness. So a lot of them are getting in touch with their intuition, their work they're going within as i said they're, they're working on themselves as i said a lot of you are in no communication there's no no talking no opening up at this time yeah he's going within he's meditating he's connecting okay a lot of them are connecting with their inner knowing before they move forward yeah becoming more self-aware taking time to reflect on their choices in life so far and they need that alone time to figure things out he feels that he's gained a lot of life experiences and he's learning the lessons and he's becoming more wise within the choices he makes. So he wants to be careful about choices moving forward. Yeah, he's feeling compassionate, loving and giving at this time. His heart may be beginning to open, okay? And he may be feeling a bit more loving towards himself right now. Some of them have got no imagination, you know, they, they've got tunnel vision. As we saw, a lot of them are focused on their material world, okay? So, you know, there's a lack of imagination in some cases here. So what else do we have? Yeah, some of them weren't being honest about how they felt about you and the connection, okay? Some of them could be battling inner demons right now. They could be going through that dark night of the soul energy, and trying to balance out their dark and light energies. But they did feel a true passionate romance with you. They did feel that passion with you very strongly. But they need that alone time right now to go within, to connect to themselves, to really get a handle on what it is they want moving forward. 
but they are meeting with you in the 5D. They're connecting with you astrally. You're always connected energetically anyway, whether you're together in the 3D or not. You know, one or both of you could have ghosted the other. You know, you could have got fed up with lack of communication and just maybe, you know, blocked them or deleted them from your phone book. We've got a new moon, sorry, full moon on the, th on the 2nd of September. So this could be significant for your masculine. He could be moon sensitive. He could be a Cancerian or have water in his chart. And he could be really connecting to those moon energies. Yeah, he's, he's feeling hurt, angry, sad. This is, I feel, more to do with past situations or it could be to do with your connection, but... I feel for a lot of them it's past situations where things didn't pan out the way they hoped and they're struggling to handle their emotions about it, to be honest. We've got dreamy. So they're fantasizing, they're thinking about you at this time because you're not together in the 3D or lack of communication, they're actually dreaming about you. Yeah, they're feeling these sexual urges. As I said, we saw with the Eight of Wands, they really are holding themselves back. They want to come forward sexually. They could have been manipulative with you, quite, quite controlling. I think for a lot of them, that's how they felt safe, by actually controlling the situation and controlling what was going on in your connection. They feel disconnected from you, um, out of reach. They've... They're possibly feeling it. Maybe you've closed off your energy to them and they, they're missing that connection. They're not feeling your connection like they normally do. You could have decided to disconnect from them at this time. And you're quite opposite in some ways, you know, but opposites attract. But they did feel that you were complementary to each other. They did feel that um, the time you spent together. So some of Angelic Revelation mess, uh, cards, trapped in toxicity, a karmic towel. So some masculines are in very difficult um, situations. So here we've got some, they have threatened me. They said if I choose to be with you, they will fight me for the kids and stop at no, no cost to make sure I suffer. So if their partners, ex-partners are aware of this connection, they may be you know, using this manipulation, this threatening behaviour, and that might be why your masculine has cut you off, because obviously his children are very important. He doesn't want to lose contact with his children. So that's heartbreaking. My friends gave up on me. I'm not allowed friends over, and I don't go out because of fear or drama. So they could have been with a person or could still be with a person who's very controlling. And basically, you know, they can't have their own life. Um, because of, you know, what would happen. Faith. I found God on my journey to learn what true unconditional love and forgiveness is. So somewhere along the, the way, they've discovered God and their faith, and that's helped them to get through very difficult times. Toxic. This relationship has always been toxic. There were red flags, but it wasn't until we married I met the demon with him. <clears throat> so the person they married, <clears throat> even though there were warnings along the way, they ignored them. And they found themselves in a very toxic situation with a very toxic person. So again, it's been very difficult for them. Okay, very difficult. Rooms. We have separate bedrooms and have had for a long time. So even though you might think they're in a you know, loving relationship with a partner... It seems to me that it's not. It's just it's just a facade. It's just for show. They're actually living separate lives. Sex. I don't have sex with the Carmen. I don't want to. So yeah, they're not actually having a, a proper relationship at all. It's just it's just a facade. It's just for show, just to keep up appearances, which is really sad. My family aren't that helpful. They don't know how to handle my situation or help. So I often pretend everything is okay. Otherwise, things get worse and I have nowhere to go. So they don't even feel that they've, they've got family to turn to, some of them, because um, the family wouldn't understand. So they feel they've got nowhere to go. They feel trapped, obviously, um, in, a, in a really bad situation. 
pushy. Sometimes they throw themselves at me sexually, but this just repulses me. So, very manipulative person, you know, very controlling person. Um, it's not a loving energy at all, is it? Ego. My pride and ego has pushed you away when I've been feeling hurt and vulnerable. So, you know, they're very much stuck in their ego, some of the masculines. They need to connect with their inner guidance, you know, their spiritual side. Because you were there to help them, to be there for them in a true, honest way. And they just pushed you away. Do I deserve this punishment? Maybe this is my karma and I should just be grateful because it could be worse. So that's really sad that somebody feels that they deserve this. No matter what anyone has done, nobody needs to be treated in that way. Okay, they need to get out of that situation. If this is your masculine, if that resonates for any of you, you know, throw them a lifeline. You know, if it was me, I would throw them a lifeline if there's anything you can do to help, okay? So if you were dealing with a runner, we've got Confessions of a Runner here by Angelic Revelations 144. Thank you, Rachel. Maybe it's too late to start over. I'm getting older and I don't like taking risks. So your masculine could have felt, you know, he didn't want to change his life. He's quite happy in his rut, you know, in his, his set, set in his ways. I feel safer keeping my distance. The thought of feeling and being hurt frightens me. So again, when somebody's been hurt like that before, they do close off some people and they decide they don't want to open their heart again to love because they think they're going to get hurt again. But the thing is, to me, living is about loving. And if you close your heart off to love and you never venture out in love again, what's the point, really? Because love is one of the most wonderful things. And yes, it goes wrong. We all go through that in our lives. It's part of the learning thing. But to shut yourself from off from that experience, I think, is very sad. Yeah, my heart is cold. After so much heartbreak, I shut down. I mean, it's, you know, it happens. We do shut our hearts down, but we can open our hearts again. I've had many different relationships in my life, you know, and I've... You, your heart is strong, you know. Your heart pumps the blood around your body, you know, and your heart always recovers you know you think you're never going to get over it but you can you need to do the work obviously and work on forgiveness of yourself and the other person but you can get over it if you choose to but to choose to stay stuck in those horrible feelings is not a good place to be you're too damn sexy for me i feel insecure about my looks so again, that's the lack of their self-esteem in their own life. They need to work on their own self-esteem at this time. Your sexual confidence intimidates me. I have sexual hang-ups. So, you know, compared to them, you could be sexually confident and they feel that they should be the man, like the leader in the bedroom. Um, but again, it's a communication thing, isn't it? It's about having those honest, open discussions. I'm avoiding sex right now as I can't handle intimacy and I feel so much now and I'm scared I will fall too deep. So, you know, again, they could have gone quiet and avoided being with you because it was so intense and their feelings were growing for you and they just couldn't handle it. I have trust issues. I've been let down in the past. We'll join the club. You know, we've all been let down. You know, I, I don't think there's a person on the planet that hasn't been let down. But you have to pick yourself up and, and get back on the horse, basically, and, and keep going, you know, and be become more discerning of the people that you let into your life, you know. Just don't give up. Don't give up on people. There are good people out there. You hurt me more than I want to admit. That shit hurt. So maybe you did something to hurt your masculine, possibly not intentionally, but whatever it was, you said or did something that hurt him. You know, but here again, it's communication. You know, you need to know these things, don't you, when you're in a relationship with somebody. I'm settling in my comfort zone and I'm afraid of a whole lifestyle change. So, yeah, you know, as I said, they, they're in their little rut. They don't want to change their life. They don't want to unsettle their life. Um, they're happy to settle with the mediocre. That's their choice, isn't it? Everyone wants to have you. Can I really be enough for you? So they feel there's a lot of competition for you sexually. Um, 
But what they seem to forget is if, if you have feelings for a person, that is the person that you want to be with. You know, you don't want to be with anyone else, no matter how much attention you might get from other people. It's never the same connection. I've been cheating on in the past. I don't want to go through that again. So again, so many people have been cheated on, you know, and it's it's horrible that that happens, okay? But not everybody is a cheater. Not everybody will cheat on you, okay? And again, it's about having that discernment and having that, you know, gut feeling about somebody. So now we have Divine Domestics, Challenge Relationship Messages. I'm willing to offer an olive branch if I'm able to communicate with you. I would accept an olive branch and I long for peace. I miss you. So despite what's happening, they are missing you. I get so frustrated by the intense telepathy, the dreams, the strong sexual energy. Even though I'm alone, your hunger and desire for me has me burning up, but you are nowhere to be found. The passion is all consuming, unextinguishable fire and it's driving me crazy. So he could be feeling that sexual energy, you know, on the 5D there, that connection you have. I try to detach and let go, but then I get flooded with telepathy, dreams, and your strong sexual energy, which takes me over. Damn it. So, yeah, even though you're not together, that strong sexual energy is still there. My mind is racing and my heart is breaking with the doubts and insecurities your behaviour has created. I crave inner peace right now. My soul just feels unsettled. So, you know, when they met you, they weren't expecting maybe to have that sort of deep connection and it's really unsettled them. Shit, you're all I think about. The past, the good times, a crazy passion. Phew, the drama and how I want you now, damn. So, yeah, there's a lot of craving for you right now, sexually. <clears throat> I always felt your love and energy so strongly as a comforting present. It hurts me when I can't feel your energy. Are you pulling away from me? So some of you feminines could have been pulling away from your masculine, you know, because you've had this ghosting or blocking or a lack of con con connection, you know, you felt that you needed to move on. And energetically, your masculine could feel that right now, okay? <clears throat> it frustrates me I can't connect with anyone else the way I connect with you sexually. Our sexual connection is magical and no one else compares. So, yeah, you could have had amazing sexual chemistry with your masculine, okay? And he may have tried to find that with other people, but it's not going to be there because part of it is the soul connection that you share, obviously. If you're twin flames, you share the same soul and that connection will never be the same with anybody. So let's get some final messages. I was so instantly consumed by the passionate soul pull and mistook our connection for pure lust. But after all this time, the desire has just intensified and lust dies out fast. So at first, they thought the connection was about lust, you know, this sexual desire. But it could have been burning for some time between you. How can someone like you love someone like me? I don't feel deserving of your love. So again, the self-esteem issues need work here. I so desperately want to talk with you, but I just don't know what to say after ghosting you for so long. So they're feeling bad, you know, they want to come forward, but they just don't know how to at this time. I showed you I loved you through our magical kisses. So you must have had some really beautiful kisses together. I've never wanted someone so much in all my life, and that frightens me. I'm trying to balance my emotions. So I consistently communicate and build trust with you. So let's see if we can get some messages about when you might hear or what might happen next. What might happen next in this connection? Please, Spirit. Wow. <laughs> well, there could be pregnancy for some of you if you come together again with your masculine. So, obviously, use precautions if that's not what you want at this time. You might be getting a text message.
get asked out for a coffee or lunch he wants you to meet his friends let's get a final message some of you could have some money coming in so that could really help you and they're saying they have a gift for you for some of you so that's beautiful so that's your messages for today so there's some of the challenges that some of your masculines could be going through right now okay so i hope that resonated so thank you for watching please like share subscribe comment and i will see you in my next video many blessings